A retired Antarctic pilot by the name of John Ingram was presented with an irresistible opportunity. The Antarctic Research Institute invited him back for a special reconnaissance mission over the icy expanse of Antarctica. Intrigued and eager to fly again, he accepted the offer. On a frigid morning, he boarded his old companion, a modified Lockheed C-130 Hercules. The mission was straightforward, to map out some remote regions of Antarctica that satellites had trouble covering. With the seasoned expertise of decades, he piloted the aircraft over the vast, shimmering white landscape. After hours of monotonous, icy scenery, a blip on the radar broke the tranquility. It was a mountain, a towering spire of ice and rock standing solitary amidst the endless white. At its summit was an oddity that puzzled the pilot, a large, perfect circle that radar identified as an opening. He circled around in order to get a better look. His curiosity peaked. The mouth of the cavity was colossal, big enough to fit a football stadium. The pilot estimated the opening was easily over 300 feet in length, big enough to fit a plane inside. Unable to resist the mystery, he decided to descend for a closer look. He expertly maneuvered the aircraft into a daring low-altitude hover just above the mouth of the mountain. Peering out of the cockpit, he saw the hole wasn't merely an opening, it was an entrance to an expansive cavern disappearing into the heart of the mountain, shrouded in darkness. Realizing the potential significance of the find, he marked the location on his GPS and took high-resolution photographs. As much as he yearned to explore further, he knew he was not equipped for such an expedition. He ascended back into the sky, his mind racing with possibilities about what could be hidden within the cavern. Upon his return, he presented his findings to the Antarctic Research Institute. The photographs and coordinates sparked an immediate buzz among the researchers. The possibility of an unexplored cavern of such size in Antarctica was an enticing prospect. However, the pilot said that he was told that the discovery wasn't of interest and that an exploration team wouldn't be sent to the location. As the news of the discovery spread, it captivated the team's imagination. Those who knew the pilot said that they eagerly awaited updates on the mysterious hole atop the Antarctic mountain. However, he was told that the discovery wasn't of interest and that no further flights would be made to the mountain. The pilot ended by saying that he still wonders what was inside the cavern that led directly into the mountain. Oddly enough, this isn't the first time that something strange has been found in Antarctica. In the bitter heart of Antarctica, hidden amidst the icy wilderness, is a research station named Aurora Base. It is a scientific outpost tasked with studying the desolate landscape and the hidden secrets of this cold frontier. According to a social media post one winter, the Aurora team embarked on a new expedition, a journey into the subglacial lakes, which exist under kilometers of ice. Armed with state-of-the-art technology, the team lowered a specialized submersible probe through a borehole in the ice to explore the unseen depths of Lake Vostok. As the probe descended through the ice, its cameras relayed images to the team above. The first signs of life were simple, single-celled organisms. But as Poseidon plunged deeper, it started to transmit pictures of creatures much more complex and bizarre. Creatures that defied the known boundaries of life in such extreme conditions. One such creature was a translucent, bioluminescent entity, nearly two meters long, undulating gracefully in the frigid darkness. Its otherworldly glow illuminated its surroundings, and the creature seemed to be covered in a constellation of glowing spots. Biologist Dr. Everson, staring at the live feed in awe, said that it's like a living star field. In the following days, the underwater probe captured images of other unusual life forms. There were organisms with metallic exoskeletons, creatures resembling prehistoric trilobites but much larger, and swarms of neon-colored microorganisms that glowed beautifully under the probe's light. Each new discovery was a revelation, a testament to life's tenacity and adaptability in Earth's harshest environment. Word of these astonishing discoveries spread across the base. Soon, every eye was glued to the live feed. Everyone held their breath each time the underwater probe descended, eager to see what strange creature it would uncover next. One evening, it encountered something that brought every heart at the base to a standstill. An enormous shadow loomed over the submersible. As it came into focus, a gigantic creature, unlike anything ever seen before, appeared on the screen. It was a massive creature, 
easily the length of a whale, but unlike any known marine animal, it had multiple bioluminescent appendages and an intricate pattern of glowing lines along its body, casting an ethereal light in the dark abyss. Stunned by the sight of this gargantuan life form, the Aurora team realized they had discovered an ecosystem entirely unknown to science, hidden beneath the ice. It was a humbling experience, reminding them of how much more there was to learn about our planet. In the following months, news of the monsters of Lake Vostok reached every corner of the globe. It sparked a renewed interest in Antarctic exploration and the study of extreme environments. To the scientists at Aurora Base, these strange creatures were a beautiful reminder of nature's infinite ability to surprise and astonish us. The Antarctic ice, once thought to be lifeless, now held a world teeming with strange and remarkable life, shattering our understanding of where life can exist and thrive on Earth. Lake Vostok, located beneath the icy surface of Antarctica, is a vast and intriguing enigma for scientists around the world. A giant freshwater lake buried under more than four kilometers of ice, Lake Vostok is a testament to the resiliency of life and its ability to adapt to the most extreme environments. Founded in the 1990s by Russian scientists, Lake Vostok is named after the Russian research station Vostok, which in turn was named after Vostok, a warship that served in the first Antarctic expedition. The lake is one of the largest subglacial lakes in Antarctica, with a size comparable to that of Lake Ontario. Lake Vostok's discovery resulted from the analysis of airborne radar imaging data, which revealed a vast flat region beneath the ice. The seismic and gravitational studies confirmed the presence of a liquid water lake. The most fascinating aspect of this lake is its isolation from the rest of the world. For an estimated 15 million years, Lake Vostok has remained sealed off from the rest of the planet, covered by a thick, impermeable sheet of ice. Due to its extreme conditions and isolation, Lake Vostok provides a unique opportunity for researchers. Any life found here has evolved in complete solitude, presenting an intriguing avenue for the study of microbial evolution and climate change. However, the exploration of Lake Vostok presents substantial challenges. Drilling through kilometers of ice to reach the lake without contaminating its pristine environment is a daunting task. The fear of introducing foreign microbes into the lake's ecosystem has led to stringent protocols around drilling and sample collection. In 2012, after more than two decades of careful drilling, Russian scientists successfully reached the lake and extracted water samples. The samples revealed the presence of thousands of microbial life forms, suggesting a complex ecosystem thriving in darkness and extreme cold, completely isolated from the outside world. This discovery was a milestone in astrobiology as it demonstrated life's capability to endure in conditions previously considered inhospitable. Lake Vostok also holds significant potential for the study of Earth's past climate. The ice layers above the lake form a chronological record of the Earth's climate over the past hundreds of thousands of years. Detailed analysis of these layers can provide valuable insights into historical climate changes and potentially inform predictions for future climate trends. Despite the progress made, many mysteries of Lake Vostok remain unsolved. The full extent of its biodiversity, the potential existence of more complex organisms and its complete geological profile are just a few of the intriguing questions that continue to pique scientific curiosity. Lake Vostok exemplifies the boundless potential for discovery that lies within our own planet. It stands as a reminder of the adaptability of life, even in the harshest conditions. Furthermore, it offers a unique analog for extraterrestrial environments, such as the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn. By studying extreme environments like Lake Vostok, we not only uncover more about life's adaptability on Earth, but also increase our understanding of what kind of life we might find beyond our planet. Antarctica, the southernmost continent and site of the South Pole, is a vast icy expanse that has fascinated explorers, scientists and dreamers alike. It represents one of the last frontiers of human exploration on Earth. However, despite our advances in technology and scientific understanding, Antarctica remains a largely unexplored and impenetrable land for several reasons. To begin with, Antarctica's extreme weather conditions pose a substantial challenge. The continent is the coldest place on Earth, with temperatures in the interior dropping below minus 80 degrees in winter. 
These frigid conditions can quickly become life-threatening, even with modern cold weather gear and technology. In addition, Antarctica experiences high wind speeds, commonly known as catabatic winds, reaching up to 200 miles per hour, and unpredictable weather changes, making any exploration venture dangerous. The geography of Antarctica also plays a role in its inaccessibility. Over 98% of its surface is covered by ice, which averages 1.9 kilometers in thickness. This thick ice sheet, coupled with its mountainous terrain, crevasses and ice shelves, makes navigation challenging. Even with GPS technology, the risk of getting lost or falling into a hidden crevasse is high. Transportation to and within Antarctica is another challenge. The continent is remote, with the shortest distance from the tip of South America to the Antarctic Peninsula being about 1,000 kilometers. There are no commercial flights, and most people arrive via icebreaker ships, which can only operate during the summer months when sea ice is at its minimum. Once on the continent, overland travel is slow and fraught with danger due to the aforementioned crevasses and unpredictable weather conditions. Additionally, the environment's fragility and the global community's commitment to preserving it limit human activity and exploration in Antarctica. The Antarctic Treaty System, a series of international agreements, has designated Antarctica as a scientific preserve and bans any military activity, mineral mining, nuclear testing and nuclear waste disposal. While these measures do not directly prohibit exploration, they severely limit human presence and activity on the continent, mainly restricting it to scientific research. The lack of infrastructure and human support is another impediment to exploring Antarctica. There are no permanent residents, and the population consists only of a rotating crew of scientists and support staff at research stations scattered across the continent. This means there are no hospitals, no search and rescue services, and limited resources to assist if an emergency arises during exploration. Furthermore, Antarctica's isolation leads to psychological challenges. Residents must deal with prolonged periods of isolation, confined living conditions, extended periods of darkness in winter, and the lack of familiar comforts. These factors can lead to a range of psychological issues, including polar madness or Antarctic syndrome, characterized by irritability, insomnia, and impaired cognition.